In this Code.org lesson, we're going to be making art with programs, with our program. Let's dive right in. Draw a hexagon with 50 pixels along long sides. Okay, we can do that. To draw a hexagon, you will need to move forward by 50 pixels, turn right by 60 degrees, and repeat it six times. Aha! Okay, let's see here. We're going to move forward it said and then i'm going to change this to 50. then it wants me to turn 60 degrees let's try this and repeat six times well let's first check so far so good now how can you do something repeat without having to write it six times i hope you yelled at your computer or whatever you're watching this on a repeat loop so instead of pulling out these blocks six times i can just do this Anything that is inside this pink thing is going to be repeated. So now the computer is going to move forward, turn right, hits the bottom, goes back, move forward, turn right, whoop, forward, right, six times. Once it's done with all six times through, it will drop below, and if we add code below it, it would run. But da It was so fast. Maybe we should go a little... ba -da! Awesome. Let's keep going. This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. All right, let's see. After your hexagon, turn right by 60 degrees, then draw a line that is 150. Oh, they want this. Oh, and they moved over our code. Okay. Long. Finish up by putting Elsa back to the center of the play area using jump to middle center. Okay. After your hexagon. So once we are done with this, we're supposed to draw a line like that. Now, if you want to do something only once, you don't need to be inside the loop. So we can turn right below it, right? Because after this runs six times, the computer will then drop below and look for code. And so now we'll repeat, we'll go forward, right, zoop, forward, right, that's twice, forward, right, three times, forward, right, four times, forward, right, five times, forward, right, six times, hit the bottom, and the, the computer says, nope, we've already done it six, and now runs this line, and I'll turn right. Then I want to move forward, 150, apparently. And then I guess jump to middle center. Let's try that. And so this should draw the snowflake, turn right. We'll find out. But uh I think she goes so fast, Elsa. Let's try this. But uh <laughs> Great, let's keep going. This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS fundamentals. So it moved over our code we've already done. Let's see now what's up. Let's make a snowflake. To turn this code into a snowflake, nest all the code inside another repeat loop and run it six times. You should only need to add one block. So what that means is it wants us to grab this repeat and put all of this stuff in here. Now, why does this work? How is it going to work? Well, we're going to be drawing everything six times, right? Yep. But this loop also inside of it will still run six times. So we'll be running this six times. Well, six times, every time we run the entire code. So now we'll hit go, we'll draw a hexagon, right? Forward, 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 it repeats that six times, it then drops below, we'll turn right, we'll move forward, then we move, jump back to the center, hit the bottom, and then we do the whole thing again. I'm going to slow this down, let's take a look at it. And watch the yellow here, you can see what block is running when. Now we jump, and then we draw another hexagon, and you see how it slowly makes the snowflake, and jump, and now we start our third time drawing a hexagon, and we do the hexagon inside the nested loop, and it's nested because it's inside this big loop. Alright, I'm going to speed it up a bit. But da <laughs> Cool. Nested loops are super important. I'm excited to see what else we can do with them. This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS fundamentals. Let's make our snowflake special. Okay. Inspiration. 
Where do you need to add code if you want to draw a tiny square at the tip of each long line? Ooh. You can try whatever you want in this puzzle, but here's an idea. Try making a tiny square at the end of each line. Each side should be 15 pixels long. Oh, like this. You should tr turn 90 degrees, yep, and repeat the action four times. Okay, I noticed this right away. If they're telling us they want us to repeat the action four times, then we're going to use a repeat block. So let me find that. Put that here for now. All right. Each are going to be 15 pixels long, each side. So move forward 15. Make sure you don't grab jump. 15. And then turn by 90 degrees. Turn by... Ooh, are we going to turn left or... If we're down here, left. Okay, turn left by 90 that would make sense for a square now where do i want to put this well if i'm drawing it at the end of these lines i'm going to want to put it right after i draw that line and before i jump to the middle now how many sides does the square have and how many times do they ask us to repeat it four times so just to go over this it looks complicated but i think we can get it it's repeating all of this code in here six times right on the first time through and all the others actually the first code it hits is six times repeat. So it says, okay, I'm going to move forward, turn right once, zoop, twice, I'll move forward again. Now I'm going to turn right again, zoop, move forward again, turn right again. And once it does these two lines of code six times, it drops below. And then I'm going to turn right by 60 degrees, move forward 150. That's when I draw this line. And then I hit another repeat and it's going to do these two lines four times because four sides of a square. So I'll move forward by 15, turn left, zoop, forward by 15, turn left, draw the square. It will then drop. I'll jump back to the middle. I'll have a little section of all this drawn, and it goes zoop, and we do it all again until we get a snowflake. Let's uh, test it out. Ta-da! That looks awesome. All right. I can't wait to see what we're going to do next. Let's uh keep Let's let's keep going. This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS fundamentals. Try changing the shapes or the length of the lines you made. If you don't see this code, you need to go back and do the other parts of this lesson. Um, and if you're stuck, watch some of my tutorials. All right. Make it your own. Inspiration. You can change your drawing in any way you want. But here's an idea. Try, shaping, try switching the shape, the types of shape, in the middle of the snowflake with one at the end. Oh, that's super cool. Okay. So what they must have done for that, hmm, I guess I'll take this and just switch because this is what's drawing the hexagon because a hexagon has six sides. Ah, uh, then this, I went up here. So really I'm just trading these two spots just had to move all the code to do it let's see does that hmm oh boys so i need to fix the size too now this is cool all right so let's try making this ah i want to leave it in there because i still want to repeat it 50 and this 15. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, they turned the other way too? Alright, let me turn left. Let's see if we can match it. But uh And so what's really cool is the actions are the same. We're just changing the size. And it's easier since we have a repeat, because otherwise, if I wrote out, move forward, turn left four times, I would have to go into four different blocks and change the 50. But with a repeat, since our code's efficient, we can easily change some big parts of it, right? 
if I wrote out making my hexagon six times, which I just needed to do move forward by 15 pixels, turn left by 60 degrees, move forward by 16 pi 15 pixels, turn left by 60 degrees. If I wrote that out six times, it, we would still draw this shape, but it would be hard to change the size so easily because changing just one number changes every side every side size and changes the size of then the whole hexagon. That is super cool. All right, let's uh, keep going. This is code.org. Let's try something new. This time skate in a zigzag. Okay. Inspiration. Try changing your long 150 pixel line into six short lines. Oh, wow. Okay. Of 25 pixels. Turn right by 45 degrees in alternate directions. Oh, so in left and right. Turn right by 45. Each short line to get a zigzag. Where do you need to put a repeat block to make this happen? Oh my goodness. How many times do you have to repeat your pattern of two short lines to get six total? Okay. Hmm. Well, if we're changing our direction... Okay, it's giving us some clues here. So, two short lines is the pattern. We need six lines, but our pattern of two short lines. And it's saying two short because I think we're changing directions right and left. Right? Alternate directions. So, we need to be facing right, facing left to get this line. All right. So, I have a few thoughts. Let's do a repeat. We're not sure on how much, right? So, I'm going to do four for now to test some stuff out. And then we need six lines. So, and then we need to turn alternate directions. So let's go ahead and say, okay, you want to move forward. Um, how much did they say? 25. Yep. Let's go forward 25. I'm going to attach it here so we can see it better. And then let's turn. And they said 45 degrees. Okay. So right, fine. 45. Then what do we want to do? Well, we want to go forward again, 25 pixels. Okay. And then at the very end, I'm going to turn left 25 degrees. Uh, it's not an option. 45 degrees is what I want because, because, um, that way when we hit the bottom and loop back to the top, we're now facing that alternate direction. So after each move, we're changing our direction. Oh, I need left though. Left. Cause we need to go the opposite. All right. I'm going to test this out alone. So I'm just going to drag that over here, drop that there. Let's see what this does. Oh, huh. But it goes too far. Why? I thought we needed six. Oh, wait a minute. We have two short lines. So we do, we're drawing two lines here four times. So that would be eight. So I think we only need three. All right. Well, that then is looking good. Now, where would we want to put it? Hmm. Where do we draw the long line? Here. What if I get rid of that and put that in there? Oh my gosh, is this just going to be all repeats? Um, I think I still need my... Ooh, reset. I'm going to need this, though. I got rid of that at some point. All right. And so what happens is six times in a row, we're going to repeat, fo move forward, turn right, left, right? So four times. That's drawing a square. We then drop below that after our fourth run, turn right a bit, because we still want to turn right to start a line. Then three times in a row, we're going to move forward, turn right, move forward, turn left a bit, zoop, and then move forward, right, move forward, left. So we're switching positions each time. After three times, we drop, and six times in a row, we're going to be out here and drawing this, hopefully. Then we jump back to the center and repeat it again. Let's give it a try. Looking good.
Ta-da! Awesome. Loops are really great, and nesting them like this, right, putting one loop inside of another, makes them even more powerful. Great. I'm excited to see what the next lesson is. Let's keep going.